two Ubuntu-based Linux distributions, both from hardware companies that manufacture computers. Both promise the perfect desktop experience, but one's building a desktop environment from scratch in Rust, while the other's betting everything on KDE Plasma. 50,000 Reddit users are arguing about which one you should install, and after digging through development repos and user complaints for three days, what I found might change your approach to choosing a distro. Pop OS comes from System76, the Colorado company shipping Linux computers since 2005. They launched this after Ubuntu killed Unity. Tuxedo OS? German manufacturer that kept their distro exclusive until 2022. Both ship on their own hardware, both claim optimization, but their paths are wildly different. System76 spent years building Cosmic on GNOME. Then they announced they're rebuilding everything in Rust. Pop OS 24.04 Beta just dropped with Linux kernel 6.16 and this brand new Cosmic desktop that's no longer GNOME-based. Meanwhile, Tuxedo stuck with KDE Plasma and focused elsewhere. Here's where it gets interesting. Pop underscore OS provides separate ISO images for NVIDIA and AMD graphics, includes default disk encryption, and has this scheduler that auto-configures CPU priorities for better responsiveness on older hardware. They built tools for developers with easy CUDA setup, focusing on keyboard-driven workflows. Tuxedo took a different approach. They ditched Ubuntu's repositories and created independent mirrors like Manjaro, removed Snap, shipped Firefox as native deb, enabled Flatpak by default. But let me tell you... Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something about their control center. It lets you configure CPU cores, fan speeds, TDP levels, and processor frequencies in real time. They even built a cheroot repair function into their live ISO that automatically fixes broken systems. Both provide full hardware support, both based on Ubuntu LTS with five years support. But here's the nuclear difference. Pop OS is betting everything on a Rust-based desktop still in beta, while Tuxedo is betting on KDE with hardware optimization tools working right now. One's innovating the desktop experience, the other's innovating hardware control. So which should you pick? If you value cutting-edge desktop technology and developer workflows, Pop underscore OS with New Cosmic is genuinely innovative. If you want maximum hardware control and familiar KDE workflows, Tuxedo delivers with optimization tools Pop doesn't offer. The verdict isn't which one's better. It's which philosophy matches your needs, desktop innovation or hardware mastery. If this helped you pick the right distro, perfect. I break down which Linux options actually fit your needs. More distro deep dives coming. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products. And honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be... <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. 
Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.